what makes an art toy art, and how does it transcend its definition as a toy. Today, I'm going to talk about this figure, its origins, and what I think is the artist's inspiration behind it. The Ghost of Kurosawa is a 1 to 12 scale action figure produced by Devil Toys. It was designed by Filipino artist Quix Maikez in collaboration with Flabs Lab. The Ghost of Kurosawa resin art toy was first released in 2013, and the 1 to 6 scale action figure line was produced 5 years later. This 1 to 12 scale line was released in 2022 with the OG Black and Ghost White versions. The Ghost of Kurosawa is one of many characters and figures from the Bullet Punk universe. You can check them all out on the Devil Toys online store. There's a link on the description down below. The main box arrived inside a solid cardboard box. There are no stickers on the main box so you can open it straight away. The box has a silver chrome cardboard insert with white print. The box contains two white blades, two spray cans, two pairs of spare hands, and four drawing knives. It also comes with an alternate high-cut shoes and the Sword of Ghost. This figure was produced in limited numbers, and you can tell that this was painstakingly hand-painted because it still smells like paint out of the box. The main figure looks great with sharp details on the head, hands, and shoes. The base material is flexible and the figure feels solid and sturdy to hold. The paint quality is great and his clothing is made of soft goods or fabric with printed details. The head has the iconic Ghost of Kurosawa head design. It's a samurai helmet with a faceplate that reminds us of Darth Vader. It has a skull themed paint scheme with paint chipping and rust effects. He wears a black hooded jacket with skeleton print on the sleeves and what looks like vertebra on the front and the pelvis at the bottom. He has a red armband with a skull similar to the one on his head. He has plain black hip-hop trousers with armor bits at the front. These armor bits are weathered the same way as the helmet. His footwear look like iconic Adidas shoes that's quite weathered as well. The ghost of Kurosawa's overall look is a samurai warrior with hip-hop clothing in a cyberpunk setting. The head can turn 360 degrees and can go side to side. The neck has a good range of motion with three ball joints. It can look down this much and up this way, only limited by the samurai helmet and the hood. He has a good torso bend going side to side with good rotation. There's a good backward bend and a forward bend all the way down. The arms can go all the way to the side and rotates 360 degrees on the shoulders. The upper arms can rotate as well. His elbows bend more than 90 degrees with a double joint. His hands connect to a ball joint and has a bit of swivel and the full rotation. He has butterfly articulation that locks into three places. The lower limbs has a wide range of motion as well. It has rotation on the thighs and it can go side to side this much but limited by the trousers. The legs can go forward and back this much. His knees have double joints and can bend more than 90 degrees as well. The shoes connect to a ball joint which offers a full rotation and a slight swivel. To give us a better idea in terms of articulation, I took off the soft goods to reveal the main body. It has an unfinished look and you can see mold lines and gaps. You can also see the screws used on the limbs and on the body. These are all covered by clothing. Here you can see the three points of articulation on the neck, the butterfly articulation on the shoulders, and the full extent of the arm movements. Some collectors might not be too keen on the idea of soft goods on action figures because they make them look like dolls. 
I somehow felt that way when I was taking off the clothes to study the joints. The torso can bend and rotate more without the clothing with two points of articulation. The thighs can rotate 360 degrees and the legs can do a full split. Forward leg swing can reach this high but the backward leg swing is limited by the butt. Here you can see the double joints on the knees. The print on the jacket is nicely done. These may have been printed with the use of a stencil, so a lot of hard work was put into this. The armband can be removed and the skull seems digitally printed. The shoulder armors on the jacket are stitched or glued from the inside, similar to the sheaths at the back. It's made of a stretchy type of fabric and the zipper at the front has a spring so you can pull it easily. Under the jacket is a white shirt with bullet punk printed at the front and the skull on both sleeves. The trousers are made of a thinner fabric compared to the jacket. It has garters to make sure it fits snugly and does not fall off. Despite having soft goods for clothes, the overall silhouette looks good and adds character to the figure. It made me consider getting soft goods for my other figures. The Ghost of Kurosawa has two white blades with a mechanical feel or design. It's weathered with paint chipping and rust effects and the black panel wash. You can tell that this is hand painted because one of the swords has fingerprints or a smudge. These won't come off though because the detailing is already sealed probably with a top coat. This imperfection doesn't bother me at all and I think it adds character to the weapons. Because it's hand painted, each Ghost of Kurosawa action figure will be completely unique from each other. He has two spray cans with the brand name printed on it. The other one is a bit smudged, but it's completely fine because this happens in real life as well. He has a third sword called the Sword of Ghost. It's an interesting piece of accessory because it resembles the design of Vader's lightsaber, but not exactly. The blade also has the shape of a katana with a reddish glow. He has two pairs of hands that look like biker's gloves. The opened hands has a multifunctional design. It can be used to hold the spray cans, as well as the throwing knives. The other pair is for holding the swords and you can simply slide in the white blades and they would stay put. He also has an alternate pair of high cut shoes. It offers the same range of motion as what he's got on already. This pair however will increase his height a few centimeters high so if you want him taller you can swap these on. He has four small throwing knives or kunai with great detail. You can see a bit of a spool mark but it's fine because it's so small and the paint is nicely done on the blades. The ghost of Kurosawa stands around 6 inches tall or 15.3 centimeters. He is a lot taller than Figma Denji and SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee. He would look well in scale with Figma and SH Figure Arts although slightly bigger and should look just about right with Mafex figures. The Ghost of Kurosawa pays tribute to great films and pop culture icons of our time. It's an obvious nod to Star Wars and Samurai films. Darth Vader's helmet was based on samurai armor and the ghost of Kurosawa brings that design back to its roots with a more samurai looking aesthetic. Star Wars was heavily inspired by Japanese samurai films directed by Akira Kurosawa. A lot of Kurosawa's films tell the stories of the samurai class in feudal Japan who are the inspiration behind the Jedi by George Lucas. On top of it all, the hip-hop techwear aesthetic is something that connects the design back to the artist quicks. The spray cans link us to graffiti art and the outfit gives us a glimpse of the hip-hop scene and subculture. Quicks and his design bring all these interpretations together and all these layers are what makes it an art toy. It has transcended its definition as a toy and broadened its scope through film, art, history, and literature. The Ghost of Kurosawa has great detail, paint, and articulation. 
turning the original design into a 1 to 12 scale action figure brings another dimension to this awesome design. The best part is you don't have to be a Star Wars or Kurosawa fan to actually enjoy it. You get a high quality action figure with history and you get a piece of art that you can actually play with. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and share. I appreciate the interaction. Hit subscribe if you haven't and help me grow my channel. My name is Al and I'll see you on the next one.